Good Monday morning. I am MPJ and you are watching Fun Fun Function. Today we're going to look at examples of this and bind. This video is part of a series on object creation in JavaScript. This video is for you if you are coming to JavaScript from another programming language, you're somewhat familiar with object orientation, you know what classes and inheritance is, but you are a bit confused about how that is applied in JavaScript specifically. You will get much more out of this video if you watch uh, the full series from the start. You can find a link to the full series, a playlist with the full series in the episode description. Uh, so in the last episode we explored this and bind. Reading the comments on the last video, it's, it's clear that while some people did have an aha moment around this, it's also clear that a, for a lot of you it just didn't quite click. It is really, really important that we understand the concept of this in order to fully understand how the object model works in JavaScript. So uh, I'm going to spend this video uh, just churning out a lot of examples uh, with this and bind. So in the last episode, we talked about the this keyword. The this keyword is a special keyword that you can use in functions. So this episode is going to be uh, all about this, but before we do that, uh, I'm going to, we're going to begin with just a normal function that doesn't use this. We're gonna call it talk. And it's talk is going to take a sound and it's going to log that sound out to the console. Uh, da, 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 and I'm going to call talk uh, and I'm going to pass it like woof. Let's run that node.examples.js woof. Okay, now let me delete the call here and I will remove the talk the parameter to talk and instead I am going to try to access the property sound on this. So what is this? Well the word this in JavaScript actually means exactly the same thing it does in uh, English. It doesn't mean anything uh, without some context. If you say to a friend I don't like this well, they have to infer from the context that you both are in what you mean by this. Let's just see what happens if I, I call uh, talk here, like right away. Let's run that, node examples.js, undefined. Why does line two here, why does this output undefined? Well, it's because uh, this, let me remove the sound property and run the code again. You see that, aha, uh -huh. okay, this has like all the set immediate set interval console. Like this is the global object. This is, uh, if this was, this is node, but if it was a browser, it would be the window object. So this, this, this refers to the global object. And when you think about it, it's not completely nonsensical. I mean, we're, we're calling talk here without any other kind of context. So the global object, the window object, yeah, it's not completely nonsensical that it would be this. It's a little misunderstanding between you and the compiler and, you know, misunderstandings, they happen in real life as well. You might have a friend over for dinner and they say, I don't like this. And you say, oh, you don't like the pasta carbonara that I made for you? No, 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 the, the pasta is great, but your Jack Russell Terrier Mike is, is humping my leg under the table. I don't like that. So in order to know what this is, context is important. So let's go back to adding sound here. So there are a couple of ways that JavaScript will try to figure out what you as a developer meant by this. In the last episode, we talked about how you can do it with bind. So I'm gonna create a, a Boromir object here. Boromir from the Lord of the Rings, Boromir, and Boromir, oh god I have a new keyboard, I'm not used to it, and he uh, says, he has the sound of uh, one does not simply walk into Mordor. I think I can actually increase the size of this font even more. So now we are going to uh, use bind to create a copy of talk 
where this is bound to the Boromir object. So I'm going to let, uh, I'm going to call it talk bound to Boromir, and I'm going to call talk dot bind uh, da, 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 Boromir, and I am going to call talk bound to Boromir. Bam! Let's run that. Node.examples.js. One does not simply walk into Mordor on. On. Typo. Fixed. One does not simply walk into Mordor. Exclamation mark. And notice that bind does not uh, mess with the talk function. Uh, the talk bound to Boromir. This is a copy. If I call talk here, let's run that. The second call is going to be undefined. This is going to be undefined. This is going to work. Because this function is a copy of talk where we have bound this to a specific value, Boromir, while talk is still uh, like the, the vanilla function. Uh, and when we call that, this is going to have to be inferred. And since we're calling it in the global context here, this is going to be the global, the window object. Bind is a way to be extremely explicit about what we mean by this. Another way is to place uh, a reference to the function uh, as a property on an object. Can I do this here? Uh, I'm going to dun, 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 place talk as a property on, on Boromir called speak. We could have called this talk as well, this property, but I'm going to call it speak just to illustrate that all we, we are passing around function here like just just like uh, any other value. It's very important to understand that in JavaScript functions are just values that you can pass around just like you would pass around a number, a string, or boolean, or, or object. In fact, I think that I'm going to uh, do this instead. You can do this. This might illustrate it better. So that the variable talk is we assign this function signature to talk. And then we assign talk here as a property called speak on Boromir. And now if we call Boromir here dot talk, let's run that. Boromir dot talk is not a function. No, that's true. <laughs> it's it's speak. That's what yes. One does not simply walk into Mordor. So when we do something like this, we we are calling a property here, a property on an object, a property on Boromir. Uh, and when we do this, JavaScript can reasonably infer that we meant to like that this should be Boromir in 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 this in this function. That seems reasonable. At least that's the way it works. Now I'm nagging about this, but I really want to like stress that. Nothing special is happening to the talk function on this line. All that happens is that a reference to the talk uh, function is being assigned as a property. Nothing about the talk function is being changed. So if I if I call talk here, call the vanilla talk, let's run that, it's going to be undefined. The first call here here it uses uh, Boromir as this, but here it will use the global, the window object, as this. And this makes sense because here we are calling speak uh, like as a reference on the Boromir object. And this is because here we are calling it as a property on the Boromir object. And then JavaScript infers that we mean to use Boromir as this. Uh, but here we are uh calling just talk the vanilla function in the context of the the, the global uh window and it's using this as a window so speak and talk here they are referring to the same function it's not even a copy it is literally the same function to prove that to you i am going to uh assign Bor <laughs> boromir dot speak here to uh, a variable variable called blabber bam 
and I'm going to call blabber. Run it, no dot examples, undefined. And that is because blabber here, it refers to the same function. It has been passed around a lot, here talk and here and speak and then to blabber, but it's still a reference to the same function. All this reassignment here, it doesn't change this of the function anywhere at all. JavaScript won't care about that because it will, in the end, evaluate and figure out what this is at the time we call it. Unless, of course, we have used bind. We can use bind to create a copy of a function. It's just like the original function, but where this is bound to a specific value. Let me do this. I'm going to talk, go talk find dot borrow mirror let's run that node dot examples to js borrow mirror is not defined ah oh. it's because borrow mirror does not yet exist here because this in this statement we are this is the statement that uh, assigns borrow mirror so borrow mirror does not exist at this point so i will need to uh delete this and instead uh, assign speak once Boromir exists. Boromir dot speak equals talk dot bind Boromir. And we run this. One does not simply walk into Mordor. Let me go back. I'm going to Comment that bind out. So we just assign the vanilla talk now. Run it again. And now it's undefined. What bind does is to create a new copy of talk, but it's almost the same as talk, but it has the difference that this will now always refer to Boromir will always be bound to Boromir. So even though we are passing it around here and uh, calling it without uh, uh, having it as a property on, on Boromir, it's still going to be uh, Boromir, that is this. And just to show you that uh, it's not modifying the original talk function, I'm going to I call talk here after blabber. And let's run that, node examples.js. And you see that the first call the one uh, that is calling the bound function is one does not simply walk into Mordor and the second is undefined. Blabber is going to print one does not simply walk into Mordor because Blabber has been bound to Boromir. Talk, however, is just the referring to the vanilla object, so which has not been bound in any way. So here it's just going to fall back to using uh, the global, the window object as uh, as this and that the window object does not have a property sound, which means that it will uh, print undefined. I'm gonna show another example to try to get this to click. Let's go back where we had talk as uh, a property on uh, on Boromir. Speak talk. Oh, let's call it blabber this time. Blab, 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 blab. I'm going to make a golem object. Uh, golem, continuing the Lord of the Rings theme. His sound is, of course, going to be my precious. Hope that's how it spells. Pay attention. He is going to have a property called Jabber, and that property. It's going to point to Boromir dot blabber. What? Try to anticipate and try to figure out without me running it what will happen if I call golem dot jabber. Did you guess correctly? Node.examples.js My precious. This is horribly confusing code and you should never do anything like this in, in a real code base. But I'm showing this to you in order to hammer it into our skulls that functions are just values. They live on their own. 
What this refers to is uh, it's determined at the time of the call. It's, it's context sensitive. And it has to be because a function doesn't have just one this. It's context sensitive. A function is just a value, so it can be passed around. A function can be placed as a property on an object, it can be uh, assigned to a variable, or it can be passed as an argument to a function. A function in JavaScript is it's just like a sentence in, in English, a normal language. For instance, like uh, the sentence, uh, this is a great ride, can be said when sitting in a car or sitting in a roller coaster, and it will mean different things. And in the same way, a function can be uh, called in multiple contexts. You cannot really say up front what this is without knowing where the function is called. Unless you have used bind to create a new function where this is bound to a specific value. That is all I got. You have watched an episode of Fun Fun Function. This is a programming show that I release every Monday morning. This particular video is part of a series that I'm doing on object creation in JavaScript. You can find a link to a playlist of the full series in the episode description. But the channel, it also has a bunch of other fun stuff. Check out the channel below. Uh, and uh, you, like, if it's something that you like, you, you might want to consider subscribing. Or maybe even follow me on, on Twitter. I am MPJ. Until next Monday morning, stay curious.